Alright folks, how's it going? W Drums here. We are back doing some more Destiny 2 content. We're doing more of the Solstice Armor for the Titan. Last time we left off, we completed the Gauntlets. Now we are moving on to the Solstice Chestplate. So for the Chestplate, you've got to do three things for this one as well. You have to complete the Chosen Rhetoric's mission. And the Chosen mission is basically the one where you beat Gaul's butt. You have to collect Void Orbs on Earth, which correlates actually with that Strike, which is awesome because it is on Earth, so you can get um, killed two birds with one stone, so to speak. I'm going to show you that in a second. And finally, we have to get 10 Heroic Public Events done. So, let's get right into it. Thanks for tuning in, and let's go! Now, folks, and as you can see here, I am tricked out in all my Void gear. I got my Graviton Lance, and I've got my uh, protocol shotgun as void as well and i'm using my sentinel highly recommend you do this with a fire team of at least two to three and um have them all on void as well it'll make it 10 times easier to drop the void orbs so as you can see here there is a void orb there are these beautiful vibrant uh purple orbs that drop from yellow bars it seems like to be the highest as you'll see here they seem to drop from those mini bosses, um, and the chances seem to be increased the more people are wearing the void gear and using the void subclasses. So throughout this footage of Gaul's mission, you're going to see a bunch of void orbs drop, and you should get done pretty fast. Keep in mind also that each orb that you collect is worth 1% of the total 100% that you need to get. So. It can seem a little daunting, but like I said, doing it on a fire team, it goes a lot quicker and have the same element subclass on. Now, folks, this is where it sucks right here. Check this out. Pops the orb out, and it goes off the building. Like, what? No! So, yeah, of course, I run down after it because that's my baby. So, right here is a lot of fun. If you're having a bad day, just turn on your Sentinel and just take them to town, man. Just be like, boom, son. Give me those cleavers. It's enough out of you. That's what you say to that. Oh, uh, what's that? Uh, the dogs are sleeping? Shh. Yeah, no can do. Come here. Yeah, come here. Pew, pew. Let me at him. Let me at him. Make sure you take out Gaul at the end, and you'll get the mission complete. A lot easier with a fire team. Always love this fight though. He should have been the final raid boss. My two cents. Best part right here of the mission. Now you take a seat, sir. Come here. Come here. That's right. Yeah, I'm the new cabal leader. That's right. You settle down. Mission complete. Good day to you, sir. Now, folks, this isn't the end-all be-all for the Void Orbs. I'm going to show you in just a second. So, let's see our progress that we got here for the chest and the... Yeah, see the chest and the mark. See that? They're both doing pretty good, but we can do way better. So, this is where the heroic public events come in handy that I learned way later that would have been amazing for Void Orb grinding. But at the same time... We had to get it done regardless, so it's just something that I threw in there. Alright folks, and the final part for the chess play for the Titan is to get 10 heroic public events. We're about to start the heroic right now by destroying that little device. So, this ties in with the void orbs that I was telling you about earlier that I discovered way at the end, is when you're grinding out these heroic public events and waiting around for them, just equip all your void gear, if you're the Titan, and you'll just see them stack up like crazy. It's really awesome. You just gotta complete 10 of these um, heroic public events, which can be a bit of a grind, so 
it helps. And also you'll notice my uh, good armor's on because I already completed this before I figured out this little trick. But better late than never, so there you are. So there we go, that would mark my 10th heroic public event, which would complete the chest plate. So I hope you all enjoyed this guide. The chest plate took a while because of the public events more than anything. But overall, I mean, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the void orbs were a lot easier to figure out now that I figured out the solar ones from the gauntlets, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the content, I do have a Patreon account. I'll leave the link down below in the description if you'd like to donate and become a member for my efforts. Uh, stay tuned for more of the pieces of the Titan in the future. God bless and have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day. Peace!